Jacob wrestled till daybreak. He had servants. In case you have not read that scripture properly, he had servants. He was well to do, but he was not in a place of rest. And the problem we have is comparison. You compare yourself with the second person by your side. At least I have a car. She doesn't have a car. At least in the church, out of the thirty people that have car, I have a car. And that's the problem you have. You don't know that how God designed is different. Maybe that thirty cars you are supposed to be giving to others. The Bible says we are lenders. To, not to individuals, to nations. That's who you are. Jacob, when he finished this wrestling, he said, you will not, it will not just be you broke my deal. Because some people, when they finish wrestling, they move them. They are trying to make you pray. Have you prayed and you lost your voice? Have you not cried? You know some people who have crying for Africa. Hey! No! Have you prayed and you lost your voice and you saw no result? Come back and meet me. There's no way you lost something. You just see what Jacob did. He prayed all, then he hit his heel. Then his name changed. It's in the place of encounter that your name can change. It's the place of encounter that your life can change. It's in the place of encounter that your story can change. His name changed for some planter. His name changed from failure. His name changed from the one targeted to be killed. His name changed to Israel. The covenant that was denied was being reinstated. Anything that you were denied before today, lift your hands to heaven. It is reinstated for you in the name of Jesus.